A kind day to you all! I am Ken's Mark, and this is Chapter 3 of Let's Play Under Occupation Revenge. And cue the drone strike! Because apparently this campaign moves along at an aggressive pace. And I confess, I've actually attempted this a few times since I cut the last episode. Because, uh, it's a challenge. And I have learned, ah crap, that I actually have to keep the laser designator thing, I think, on targets. Because I can't just fire and forget. I actually have to hold on to the red squares. Otherwise, I miss. So... There we go. This actually takes up a fair amount of time. Ah, come on! See, this is the reason that I've actually cut a few attempts at this and then commenced the episode several in because I thought I had started to get it. And I apparently haven't because this section is hard and I can't skip this introductory cutscene thing. So that's another time sink issue. I'd like the ability to skip it. Because, man. I apparently need to make every single second count. And I'm starting to think that the tanks are the most important targets. Because I think my main objective here is actually less just destroy everything and more to protect our units. So I'm just going to start focusing on tanks and see if that actually wins the day for us. Alright, I have a little... Oops, there's a tank. A little room there. Alright, so our guys are arriving. It looked like they drifted into place down there. Alright, just having a little tanky -o drift on the field. Cool, there we go. Alright, I think I can spare a little time to take at least that tower out. There we go. There's another tank. Cool, this is actually functioning so far. I haven't lost, so that's something. Ah, oh, come on, camera. Camera, there we go. Alright, I hit a couple of them with that. I can't tell if that's a structure or if some of these darker shapes are actually tanks. Ah, crap, I missed. Alright, hang on. Are you a tank? Nah, no, you're just a structure. Uh, tank! You! I need to zoom. There we go. There we go. That's a structure. Alright, I need to check around because I actually haven't made it this far ever, so... Alright, I think those are like fuel tank things over there. That's an actual tank, as in, with a cannon go explosion. And there is a, another fuel tank. Cool. This almost has an on-rails ace combat feel to it. Sort of, uh, Assault Horizon-ish. Uh, uh, could this predator maybe wing over a little- I lost. I didn't destroy majority of the targets. I hit as many targets as I had time to fire missiles, game! The hell do you want from me? I made it to the end of the run for the first time! You, <sighs> the rage section of the game, because apparently every indie game has to have one of those these days. Ah, alright, so just make every single second count. Always have missiles in the air. Every second of the game, have ordnance on the way. There we go. Ooh, ooh, nope, 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 nope. Hit that one instead. There we go. So, settle in, because this may take me a little while. Apologies for anyone that might find this repetitive. I've just, uh, I've tried this enough times away from the camera that I ain't sure I could keep this up and not at least start recording it. There we go. So can I actually fire multiple at once? I can't. Because I just tried. So seriously, I am keeping as many missiles on the way as possible at every single second. There we go, hit that oil tank. So, maybe I should aim for close together targets. Ooh, for some reason I hit that one that was way far away. Ah, crap, one of them detonated early. I don't know what the hell it's hitting. Like, that one. Alright, 
hit those because they're close together. Or apparently only hit one of them. Cool. I have no idea how the AoE effect of these missiles actually works. Because sometimes it looks like they hit targets that are really far apart, and then sometimes it does that and just threads the needle. I don't know how to read this thing. There we go. So there's a multi-hit. Good. I don't think I've destroyed any more this time than I did last time. I'll just keep the missiles flying, though. Is there something I'm missing here? Is, is there something that I just haven't done? All right, I shot the mountain. I lost again, so I'll just attempt this a few more times and cut to it once I've succeeded, I guess. All right, I've easily destroyed half the targets on the field in this run, so if this doesn't do it, I haven't the faintest clue what will. And I'm just mouse click spamming to get as many friggin' missiles in the air as physically possible. Because I don't know what the hell else to do. This, this is all I have to make some progress. I've cleared out pretty much this entire valley. There are no other targets. Thank all of the gaming gods, because I spent a while at that. the drone strike mission. Cool. Can I continue on to something actually entertaining now? Because I need a little decompression after that shit show. Come on. Con of the hill. Alright then. I actually think I'll pick this up in another episode because... I need to get up and walk around for a little while after that. I know, I think at least, that this episode is a little short compared to the others in this series. I think I'll just contain that drone experience into an episode all unto itself and continue on in another, I think, I hope, again, fun mission in the next one. So stick around for that here at Last Full Price. Again, consider checking out our Patreon. If you have any pity for me and my suffering for your entertainment and to help us keep the show alive, I'm Kids Mark here at Lesson Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.